Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is David Kontorowski. In this video, we're going to be installing Svelkit and Storybook. When I was installing Storybook the first time, I ran into some issues and after some research, I found some workarounds and this is what I want to show you. So let's jump on the terminal and start doing the Svelkit um, installation and then uh, we'll go ahead and install Storybook and look at those issues together. So first we're going to run npm init svelkit, no, svelte, svelte next. And let's just do it like that, my app. All right, we got it. Now we just uh, change directory to uh, my app. And we run npm install. All right, so now we run npm run dev, and this should open our localhost 3000. Let's go back to the browser, and there it is. So we have a successful installation of um, Svelkit. The next thing we wanna do is install um, Storybook. And for that, we're also gonna take a look at the documentation. And it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to run this command n npx sb init, and then we're just uh, going to run npm run storybook. So let's just go ahead and type that into our terminal. Let me clean this up a little bit. And actually, let me make this a little bit bigger. There it is. Okay, so before we start installing, we need to make sure that we are in the my app directory um, and then we run npx sb init. Now, as you noticed, there are a lot of uh, warnings and there's this about the vulnerabilities. Uh, this is probably something that we might want to take a look at, uh, especially if we're going to push this to production later. But let's not worry about that right now because our main issue right now is getting this installed. Let's run the npm run storybook command as it says here and see what happens. npx run storybook. If you like yarn, you could use yarn storybook and that would work too. Okay, so this got stuck right there. Let's try again. npx run storybook. So this is the forum, not the forum. This is the, um, the post that I saw under issues uh, where they were discussing um, what was going on. There are several suggestions as to how to go about this. Uh, let's take a look at the storybook files. Here we have main.js and preview.js. Let me move this terminal out of the way. So if we go to main.js, The first thing we need to do is, um, th this is kind of like a clash between uh, um, how the application is handling modules. So in the main application, we have type module and Storybook didn't like that. So what we're gonna do, because they use uh, CommonJS probably, we're gonna change this to um, an extension of c.cjs and we're going to do the same thing with uh, preview change this to cjs and also in main.js we are using a require right here we're going to comment that out and we're going to try to run this thing again um, let's see whether we need that later or not. That's, uh, something that I haven't gotten there yet, but, uh, this should be able to run now. 
this was also another suggestion uh, posted in that uh, GitHub issues page. So let's try again SP, um, npx sp init. Let's try the run command npm run storybook. And voila, looks like it's doing something. It's going to open on localhost 6006, right? Yes. Okay, so let's go to our um, browser. Yep, here it is. Localhost 6006. And we have a button here, primary, secondary. These are uh, things that came with Storybook. Uh, we didn't add this. Um, it's part of the demo. So that's uh, how we were able to install Storybook and get it to run. Uh, basically, it's an issue with how they are handling the modules. Um, there are some other possible solutions. I'm going to link this uh, GitHub issue in the description so you guys can read it and take a look and probably uh, test some of the other options that they give you there. But this is what worked for me and hopefully this can unblock you if you are stuck trying to uh, run this installation. All right, thank you very much for sticking around and I'll see you in the next video.